Hello, this is Joe, and with another 3D printing tip video, on the last video, YouTube user Metnor asked, what type of 3D printer do you have, and what do you recommend for starters who want to try it out? And I thought that would be a great subject to tackle uh, in a quick video. Uh, this is my 3D printer. Let me introduce you. World 3D printer, 3D printer world. This is uh, MakerBot Replicator 1. Well, it's most of a MakerBot Replicator 1. There's been a lot of upgrades and changes that has happened to this printer. The entire extruder assembly has been replaced with one uh, by the people who make the, the duplicator for. Um, the heated build platform has been replaced with one with a removable glass build plate by Bottle Works. And I also have the Bottle Works metal arms on there. The firmware is now Flash Forge, or no, I'm sorry, it's Sailfish. Apologize, that was a mistake. Um, a lot of little upgrades have happened to this machine over the years that I've had it. It's still mostly a MakerBot Replicator one. The second half of the question, though, what do you recommend for somebody just trying it out? Well, that's kind of a hard question to answer because you're watching this video in the future of me recording it. A year ago, if you'd have asked me, should would I recommend a MakerBot, I'd say, yeah, they're good machines, they're solid. But now, this past year has seen MakerBot making a lot of uh, big mistakes. Their printers are not worth the money that they're charging for them. They're charging more and more money for them. I can't recommend a MakerBot anymore. However, if you ask me right now what I would recommend... Uh, Flash Forge is a good, it's basically this machine. This machine was open source and so the Flash Forge people took those open source and they, they developed it and progressed it a little bit. So it's not exactly like this, but it's a good solid machine based on the same ideas. Decent price for it. It's a little bit on the high end. If you need something a little bit cheaper, um, sorry, you could get yourself a printer box. Printer bots are solid machines. They come. I, I would recommend it's worth the money to get it pre-assembled in my mind. That way you're not spending a week with a half-assembled machine. You just want, well, I just want. Some people are different and take your choice, but I just want to get straight to making cool stuff. And so that being the case, I don't want to be assembling a 3D printer. Just let them assemble it for you. It'll be put together good. I would recommend, however, you get a Raspberry Pi with this machine and hook it up through there, load Octoprint on there. This one's a lot cheaper than the other one, but it also means that you're going to have to be doing a lot more yourself and a lot of learning yourself. Um, <coughs> excuse me, a lot less learning than if you have to assemble it yourself, so it's kind of a, it's kind of a balance. But again, you're watching this video in the future, and so these suggestions might no longer be any good. So where do you go now? to find out what a good suggestion is. Well, do some research. And one good place to do some research is the Make Magazine's 3D printing guide. Every year so far, well, they've done it for two years, but they're going to keep doing it, I think. They get together as many 3D printers as they can, and they face them off against each other. They just print with them for days and days and try and decide which one's the best and has great resolution is easy to use is a great value that's how i found out about the printer bot simple printer bot kind of won well it's not really a competition but it it got uh, uh make magazine said that it was the the highest value and so i looked into them and sure enough printer bots are great and and awesome machines there are also a lot of machines on Kickstarter, and you could look into those, but I would stay away from backing a Kickstarter that hasn't already shipped, which sounds weird. Don't back them while they're on Kickstarter, but if they're successful and if they ship, <coughs> excuse me, you can go to Kickstarter and check that out. Uh, I want to mention the Affinia 3D printer. It uh, kind of did really well on Make Magazine's first uh, 3D printer showdown. It's the same price as a Flash Forge, but it's still a solid machine. Uh, one place I recommend you go is if you want to know about a specific 3D printer, go to groups.google.com. This is kind of like a public forum on a lot of things, and for some reason, a lot of 3D printers tend to congregate here. Type in the name of the 3D printer you want to find out about in the search bar and find out what they're talking about it. If you see a lot of posts, or, more importantly, if you don't see a lot of posts 
And that's kind of a flag to you that the people who get these printers aren't at, there's nobody using them. But if you see a lot of posts talking about problems with those 3D printers, maybe that's a red flag too. If you see a lot of posts where people are satisfied with them, and you can join these groups and you can ask questions and you can say, hey, which one's good? Another good source is to go to Make XYZ, find some people with 3D printers in your area, and ask them to do a test print for you. On my blog, I have a post about how to do this process. In fact, I recommend you get this 3D model. It's a, well, you can see it there on the screen even better, better. but it's a, it's a cube that's hollow, so it doesn't take much material to print this. It's a very small print. Hopefully it's not going to cost you very much to print this. If it is, abandon ship. <coughs> Make sure you're not spending a lot on this little effort. But if you want to do some experimenting, if you want to see how the 3D printer prints, if you want to hold something in your hand that was printed by it, go to Make XYZ. Ask these people to help you and, and print it for you, and you can get... This is as, best, as good an education as you can get. Find somebody with the 3D printer you want to learn more about and, and ask them to print you something and hold it and look at it and go, yeah, okay, I could live with that if you're really looking into this. Also, the other thing about this Make XYZ and this process of, of sourcing your 3D prints is maybe you don't want a 3D printer. I mean, it's an expense. It's very expensive to get into this, and maybe you don't want... A 3d printer maybe you just want a couple of 3d prints well then don't get a 3d printer have somebody else with a 3d printer do the prints for you how genius is that you don't need to buy a 3d printer you can just have somebody else with a 3d printer do the prints for you so that's kind of what I would recommend right now do your research use the Google groups use the make magazine uh, go to make uh, XYZ and try it out and maybe don't even buy a 3d printer maybe just use people like myself who already are crazy enough to do this hobby have them do it for you so that's that's uh, my video for for uh, this week my next video is going to be about taking a 3d model that's super complicated and reducing the number of polygons so it's easier and faster to slice it's called decimating so I hope you'll tune in for that if you have any questions, leave a comment on this video. Hopefully I can answer those questions either in the comments or maybe, at, like Metanor's, in a video like this one if I feel like it'll help a lot of people to know this stuff. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps people.